This snake puts the anaconda and reticulated python to shame. Hello and welcome to another installment of Gabe's Wild Planet. And today we will be going over everything there is to know about the largest snake that has ever lived, Titanoboa. Titanoboa was a large species of snake and the ancient relative of the anaconda, but eight times as big. It was first described in 2009, five years after its initial discovery in the coal mines of Serenjon, Colombia, where more than 30 specimens have been recovered. Most of the fossils that have been recovered were of its vertebrae, with one specimen being found with a nearly complete skull. As you can clearly see here, the vertebrae of Titanoboa is larger than that of the present day anaconda. Based on the size of the vertebrae, we have estimated that the average length of Titanoboa was around 13 meters in length, with an average weight of around 1.25 tons, making Titanoboa the largest snake that has ever existed. The known fossils of Titanoboa have been dated between 60 to 58 million years ago, meaning that Titanoboa lived during the mid to late Paleocene epoch. The Paleocene epoch was a 10 million year period following the extinction event that killed the dinosaurs. Columbia during this time was a vast swamp situated along the margins of an ancient shallow sea, and the climate back then was exceptionally warm, with temperatures reaching into the low 90s. It was this warm climate that may have allowed Titanoboa to grow to such immense sizes, as cold-blooded animals, such as reptiles, have metabolic rates that are influenced by the temperature of the environment in which they live in, and Titanoboa would have needed an exceptionally warm environment to grow to such immense sizes. Unfortunately, being so huge does have its drawbacks. For instance, this would have made living on land awkward and impossible. But like its modern day cousin, the anaconda, Titanoboa probably spent much of its time in the water. Titanoboa was probably the apex predator of its environment and was an ambush predator, hiding amongst the vegetation in shallow water to ambush its prey, which included turtles and large crocodiles. Like the anaconda, Titanoboa was a constrictor, meaning that it wasn't venomous and its preferred method of killing was by strangulation. Once it grabs its prey with its mouth, it begins to coil its body around the victim, then starts to squeeze it, effectively suffocating it to death. Once the prey has died, it proceeds to swallow the victim whole. But like most prehistoric animals, Titanoboa was not meant to last. It eventually went extinct and we still don't know why. It was probably due to a combination of a changing climate and competition with other predators. Even in death, Titanoboa still inspires awe and fear and gives us a glimpse into an ancient and forgotten world. Thanks for watching. Remember, like and subscribe for new episodes every Friday. See you next week.